Welcome everyone, it's very cool to see you because I was not able to present this presentation um, uh, during Brent's camp in Rennes. So I'm speaking in English because I'm trying to target uh, more people. So let's go. So who am I first? Uh, so I'm a software engineer. I'm working from France and I've been contributing to many different uh, open source projects for two decades now. So Debian operating system to IoT projects and um, JavaScript community also. And I've been involved in, with um, the industry open source uh, teams. So I used to work for with, uh, for in with Intel on Tizen operating system, on Yocto also, and IoT on for Samsung. And uh, I'm currently available for cooperation or any other opportunities. So anyway, I'm here to speak about uh, software. So software is something evolving and it's never finished because it's only abandoned by uh, the authors. But at the same time, if the source are remaining, you can expect somebody uh, is taking care of uh, some project. It can be a smooth transition or maybe it can happen a lot of time uh, after. So software will be abandoned. And here are some definition from Wikipedia. So abandonware is a play word with um, describing usually software in your ring by uh, the author or the manufacturer and there is no more support available. So that's something dead we can clarify. Uh, that is. And at the same uh, time, uh, what, I, uh, what are open source uh, projects? Basically, it's some kind of product which uh, are giving the permission to anyone to use the source code and change it and uh, do a lot of uh, derivative works. And uh, what we are talking about here is about a community around the projects. And uh, if there is no community on your software, which, which is open source, probably is not uh, enough. So the problem we have to fix here. Um, code is not like wine, it doesn't get better over time. I mean that uh, it can work at, in some situation, but over the time the version at, of uh, tools are evolving and uh, there is different uh, contexts which are not the same and it's always breaking. So you have to, uh, you cannot expect it will work uh, any, uh, um, um, forever. So you need to contact the upstream, which is a creator of the code, and to try to get some evolution or some, some fixes, but it's not a contractor. This is something given f to the community. It's not something uh, you can expect more from uh, the author. So maybe if there's a community, you can ask the community or hire a consulting company, or even better, have some open source developer inside your company. So Software needs users and developers, and developers need software, and we have some kind of loop. So what I try to say is that there is a community interdependence. Everybody has to establish both-way relationship and not uh, in a producer and consumer model. So what is the lifespan of an operating, an operating, uh, an open source uh, software? So first, the auto publish the code. The users are using the code. If they are just using and not giving back, we call them free riders, which is not good for our LC community. But the community it plays a, 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 the game and it try to improve the code and make it available for everyone. So developers are adding features or fix or new targets, or they're just disappearing. So usually uh, people give something because it's something available for which which makes sense for their say, uh, needs but sometimes they don't really care about because they are moving to something different so they could have some kind of lack of interest or lack of funding this means that uh, it's uh, only voluntary work and uh, they can just move away from them keyboard and even some more situation can appear so we have a sustainability challenge to address and I will speak about it. So an example I woke up this morning from my uh, friend. Um, um, he told me that there is an article in the register uh, newspaper that said that um, there is an issue with uh, some developer which is maintaining uh, a JavaScript library, which is very popular. But for some reason, this person has to, to go to prison. And uh, nobody else is taking care of this prison, but every a lot of people are depending on, on, on this one. So that's, that can be problematic. Yeah. 
So what kind of strategy we can uh, establish? So the so users may stay and the developer may go. So the developer can make some some the users are maybe some developers, so they can make some patches, but they, their patches will not be shared, and uh, it will only apply to their version they took at uh, a given time. And uh, many people are doing the same at the same time. And all those uh, derivative project are probably so they one day or later abandoned. So that's not helping. So. The bad way to work with open source is to grab it and just import it to your product. You're losing all the history of the project. That can be problematic because you don't have all the change and all the motivation for the change and why this has been done and so on. And the good way to do it is to to, to keep an external reference to something public and stable. So that's what uh, the Git Abandonware project is trying to provide to you. So we are still making the, the, the code public and in some case we are releasing binaries uh, version so you can uh, use them as well. So now I want to talk about uh, the risk about uh, not uh, taking care about uh, the piece of code you are including into your project. So somebody else uh, found a uh, uh, um, I think it's a JavaScript module that has been downloaded a lot of um, but a lot of users, it's, there is no licensing, so that can be a risk for companies. The maintainer is gone. There is some people, so the community and user asking for help, for help. Nobody is replying, and it is depending. It's used by many many companies, so you can expect you can have a lot of issue if this code is bad. You, it can spread to a lot of uh, other derivate derivate work or product or even thing you have in the market running your appliance. So here I'm talking about insecurity. So you can have some vulnerabilities in code. I will not speak about this. So it's uh, there is a lot of uh, resource online about um, what kind of vulnerabilities, buffer overflows, and so on. But you have also some vulnerabilities of dependencies of uh, the component you are using. So there is um, dependencies on de of dependencies. So unless uh, you try to catch up you have a, you have a lot of uh, old stuff uh, running on your system so you can try to fix it with some uh, uh, patches shared by the community on older version but uh, you need to ask um, yourself if there is any side effect or uh, with the other component and probably you need to audit again all your code uh, build uh, using this open source uh, component so what here my conclusion is that a minimal maintenance of uh, any open source component is desirable and that's uh, also apply for each part of the chain so i'm also thinking about the tools you are using to compile your program and uh, yeah everything so here is come our best effort cooperation so the idea is uh, how can a community try to co maintain a, a project which is abandoned and how to still provide trust. So I'm using here some pattern uh, from famous open source project and uh, everything is uh, open to anyone. So the development is not is not behind door, everything is in public. We are using mostly GitHub, but we can move to a different organization and it can be replicated. So it's just a concept. So how to do this with trust. So my definition of trust that it should be bidirectional. We, we should trust each other. And um, there is um, some different uh, way to establish some kind of uh, mesh of trust between people, it's like uh, the web of trust uh, using a new PGP. And uh, this is what, uh, let's say, the, one of the biggest community project, which is Debian operating system. They are using a, a keyring which all people, trustworthy people together, so they can share some content and having a minimal trust about uh, what is this about. And uh, okay, we are, we don't have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, infrastructure, but uh, it's a best effort. If you can know how to improve this, uh, it's welcome. And uh, for example, I, I'm just sharing a, a patch here from this, uh, Noble, which is a Bluetooth uh, library, which is uh, no more maintained, and I, I send in this uh, patch that uh, I'm committed to 
do something useful for community and don't do any harm and I am trusted by different kind of organization so this is uh, my uh, commitment to um, do the what is best for the community so uh, we established uh, some kind of uh, procedure to make sure nothing is lost in the future because it's a long-term project so all the patches are tracked so we are uh, on it commit message we are uh, putting reference to why this has been done and has it been forwarded uh, uh, elsewhere is somebody else is using it so we try to to make the mesh more connected and uh, of course we need to we are committed to to share our chance through upstream because even if there is nobody maintaining the software maybe some people who look at uh, the bug tracker and see and uh, will notice that we are making mistake and so I, we expect them to to help us to fix this yeah. and if for, for for some reason if there is some some activity on the upstream project so the original uh, open source project and there is some change we try to to also apply all the change we made on this uh, so this way we are sure we are not uh, diverting too much we're just trying to to be uh, as close as uh, what uh, upstream is doing and sometimes upstream can uh, take back the maintenance of this project and try to pick all our change. That's the best situation, yeah. So yeah, also we, we did make some effort to set up continuous integration and in some case continuous dev library. So this is, uh, let's say this uh, DevOps uh, way of working. So we, since uh, some repos are on GitHub, so we are automating using uh, GitHub actions. And uh, code is, um, can be scanned is public so it can be scanned by anyone or even some bots some issues are reported automatically even some uh, component of data are proposed by uh, some uh, programs so that's kind of easy and uh, then if we are making any change we try to 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 get to to let you know to the most people possible and try to get feedback if it's good or, or bad so if anybody cares we are sharing also to social channel so for diverse uh, Mastodon network and we are using bot to push this to Twitter and if anyone can join others it will work and uh, something interesting also in the JavaScript community they are using some kind of uh, namespace for for releasing uh, modules to the npm repository so this means that we can have the same the same library but with a different uh, context so people can switch from one library to another but just uh, adding a prefix to the dependencies um, manifest so that's pretty nice so what's next uh, we can try to automate more and more and more but uh, we, is it desirable is it uh, maybe if it's something uh, out of control it can be really uh, go against our commitment to provide something secure and something useful so another strategy is to, to uh, try to bet on uh, collective intelligence that uh, we should trust each other and try to make sure that uh, humans are enough connected and uh, uh, make uh, their cooperation easier. So here is an example about uh, uh, Bluetooth um, mod module which is um, used from Node.js and uh, the older version I'm showing here is, has been published uh, four years ago it doesn't work with current uh, not the GS uh, runtime uh, everything is broken let's say it and uh, as you can see on the on the graph people are progressively not and uh, not using it so there is some activity on the upstream tracker but nobody uh, answer so we are in a situation that we have no choice to fork this project so we create another one which is prefixed by this abandonware prefix and uh, you can see it's uh, mostly the same description but uh, we uh, make uh, more revision so we are on the fifth one and as you can, can see on the graph people are seems uh, they are progressively uh, using it so this means a transition from the uh, maintained one to this one for instance um, so any help is welcome if you think it can be uh, useful for you or allow also if you want to learn uh, what is open source how to contribute uh, or just trying to learn programming and anybody is uh, uh, is welcome so something you, you can do is try to identify when a, a project is not maintained anymore and try to report this to us and if there is any traction 
maybe somebody will try to invest a little time on it. So reviewing code is really interesting for us because none of none of us is able to review all the changes in all the, all the languages and all, all the all the con different contexts and we need testers because we are some sometimes merging code which is not really tested or we don't really know uh, the real uh, value of it so we can just by discussing with uh, the author see if there is any any benefit and uh, yeah we try to make the project evolve and uh, people who are more knowledgeable can be uh, can be can help others so yeah that, that's if you want to join us uh, we are welcome to and uh, we want to have a good relationship between uh, people who are working on the upstream even if they are gone we, we believe that uh, it's our duty to keep the connection we don't want to replace them and uh, it's uh, only a temporary uh, um, project that we we expect that uh, people in the future will uh, 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 adopt uh, the abandoned, abandoned uh, software and do proper maintenance so next we can try to improve our automation to add more operating system, more different compilers, and so on. So feedback also is very valuable because this is something I started mostly by my own. I've been joined by a, a multi developers and a couple of others. So we try to evolve uh, by ourselves, but uh, if you have any requirement or comments, uh, that would be very welcome. Uh, this is all done on a voluntary basis. Um, I'm currently doing this as uh, unemployed now and uh, funding is can be helpful also and uh, what I just said before if some companies or individuals are committed to take back the maintenance of some uh, project uh, let uh, let us know and uh, you can it can be my the best situation is that the software will be uh, integrated into a, a trusty uh, open source community so in that way we can just uh, redirect to them and uh, will not uh, duplicate the effort. So yeah, that's a long-term strategy. So while I have your attention, I want just to speak about some uh, uh, some ethics uh, because today I, I believe that uh, even if we manage to build operating system or an encyclopedia, an encyclopedia online with the uh, internet and I'm thinking about Wikipedia and so on, we are not in a massive generalized uh, cooperation. We are still have some paradigm where we have a lot of competition, which is sometimes uh, in, um, it's it's not something uh, something can be valuable. But I believe that uh, in many 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 cases we are duplicating too much effort without any gain. So cooperation will help uh, in this. Uh, so I believe that uh, cooperation is part of sustainability because duplicate duplicating things that doesn't matter doesn't make any sense. So we need to try to converge into something useful. And uh, I shared a couple of links. Uh, you can uh, you can uh, have a look because we need to respect ourselves and uh, try to establish a new paradigm where everybody uh, has some kind of uh, uh, time and uh, knowledge and and power and not try to centralize everything and expect uh, something a big collapse as uh, we are knowing here with uh, the situation on on on, on Earth. So. Okay, so here are some resources. I'm, I'm just uh, sharing some links. So we, I just made a, um, a web page about uh, some instruction about how to be part of this, but it's pretty basic. So if there is somebody to want to improve it, that would be welcome. Most of the development is done on GitHub, but it can be done in GitLab also. And uh, there is a meta project, which is uh, the name of the of the website, which is abandonware.github.io, where you can fill. Uh, some tickets and uh, uh, eventually uh, update the documentation. This is the entry, uh, the entry door to to cooperate. And uh, yeah, you can reach me also as an individual. And uh, yeah, I think I'm I'm done.